630, the city forced them to tear down their home a year and a half ago, but every month since, the city has been sending them a water bill. Now they owe hundreds of dollars for water they never used, and their repeated attempts to get the city to fix the problem went nowhere. That's when they decided it was time to get Marty. Right about here, we're going into the kitchen. In what used to be Richard Beatty's home, I'm looking for some water. If this was an imaginary kitchen sink right here, I'd be turning the water on. Yes. <laughs> when was the last time you turned the water on that kitchen sink? Uh, about the second week in January 2014. When's the last time a drop of water was used in this house? Second week uh, of January 14. Month after month yep. after month. No water used for 18 months doesn't explain this stack of water bills, the most recent sent to Richard Beatty a few weeks ago. I'm still using water here. Here is this vacant property. A lot of weeds, an old truck, no house, certainly no water service. This was my sidewalk here. Rich's West End home was condemned and torn down by the city in January of 2014. Shortly thereafter, he took the water meter to PWSA, has the paperwork to prove it. When the guy tore the house down, he handed me the meter. He says, here, you got to turn this in. Water meter turned in, house gone, still getting PWSA bills a year and a half plus later, and no one would help him. You can't talk to him. I've talked to him on the phone. I've called probably 12, 15 times. So frustrated, he's resorted to laughter. It's stupid. It is stupid. It is so stupid. It's funny. It's stupid. It really it's funny. is. When the laughter stops, it's time to get serious. Get him off my back. My neighbor says, call Marty. He called. Turns out, at the right time, we just finished some business with PWSA. The agency stepped up for us here in Homewood, taking this collapsing street and doing a magnificent job fixing it within a week or so. Same thing happened with Rich Beatty. Within a few days, PWSA Big Shot sent me this email. There was an error, so we deducted all of the charges after the building was raised. We also deducted any late or interest charges from the account. There's more. PWSA actually called Rich Beatty and apologized, saying, we talked to the customer, the account balance is zero, he is happy, it is all behind him. Well, he certainly is happy. They were going to take care of this immediately, is that okay? Oh, I'd be the happiest guy in the world. Wow. Amen. But I'll wait till next month to see if I get a bill. <laughs> Did you hear what he said? He's going he's gonna to wait till next month to make sure he doesn't get a bill. I'm promised he won't get a bill next month. He has a zero balance. Meantime, I'm told PWSA is still trying to understand why customer service folks didn't take care of his problem over the phone. Remember, he called them more than a dozen times. Very frustrating. Hmm. You know, it seems like this is so obvious. Okay, his house isn't there. Right. He should not be getting... No house, no water. He should not be getting a bill. So, and then you get involved and boom, fixed. Yeah, you know? this, is, this is actually troublesome to me on a grander scale that... Every time we take on one of these issues, I get involved, you go up the corporate ladder, and they take care of it. Why can't businesses, entities, local governments learn, just take care of the problem when the consumer calls? I think this is my biggest frustration yeah. that I've learned so far. Just do the right thing. Well, at least we have you to help yes, fix, we do. fix some problems. All right, Marty, thanks. Well, <laughs> hey, if you have a problem, email getmarty at kdk.com or give them a call, 412 575 Two two four four.